Hey, what up? My name is Orin King. I'm in here with Trashy. Let's talk some trash. What do you look for in a person on the first date? I gotta make sure she got pretty feet. You know, you ought to be able to make a girl take her shoes off, but go on, go on wear some open toe shoes the first date, you feel me? That way he know you got some pretty feet, you feel me? I do all kinds of dates. I'm the date master, like. And I'll get them done for you, though. I ain't no cheap nigga, like. You need to go on a good date, come with me. I'll go get some chicken and a bottle, you feel me? We can kick it at the crib, you feel me? Or, you know, I'll take you out if it's time for me to take you out, or if I feel like you worthy of me taking you out. She can dance like Megan, drive the boat like Megan, we pop bottles or whatever, you feel me? I'm the date master though, I'm telling you. That my new name, date master or something. Have you ever gone through a hoe phase? Have I gone through it? I'm still going, baby. <laughs> no. <laughs> That brings me to this next question. What was the moment that made you realize you need to get your shit together? <laughs> I ain't no hoe no more, y'all, but that's what made me realize I need to get my shit together. I was hoeing too hard. Like, when it turned into, like, two sisters at one point, like, that shit just... That's when I realized I needed to get my shit together. But I was just having fun, you know, enjoying life, because y'all wouldn't have turned them down either. When's the last time someone ghosted you? Nine, ten months ago, I got ghosted. I ain't gonna lie, bro, like, I'm a man at the end of the day, and I got desires, you feel me? Like, I took on, like, two, three dates, and, like, I kind of, things start getting, you feel me? I played it cool at first. I wasn't doing too much, but, like, of course I'm gonna want to get sexual. Like, you fine as hell. You ain't never told me you was practicing, like, celibacy or, or you was a virgin or nothing. When I bring up sex to you, all of a sudden, like, you take off running, that show that she had a, a different type of issue she was dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, let's see what we got. What's one thing you wish you could unsee? Oh, man. Now, my grandma and grandpa, they gonna be mad at me for saying this on here. Man, my room was right here, and my grandma, my I was raised in my grandma and grandpa house. They room right here. So I come out my door and like the wind sometimes will make the door like just open, you know what I'm saying? When I close my door, I look to my right like, bro, all I see is like my grandma on top of my grandma. Like I wish I could unsee. My grandma on top of my grandpa, that's what I wish I could unsee. Like that, that kind of messed me up in the head for sure, for sure, bro. I don't even know. I was moving so fast. I just tried to get, you know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes you see the tree like, oh, you just keep walking like, man. No, but. Yeah, man, I don't know why I was even looking that way. I tell you, every time I walked out of my room after that, I'm looking straight ahead. I ain't never looked that way again. When did you realize that your friend wasn't really a friend? I ain't gonna lie, I was on the hospital bed, bro, and one of my partners, like, was shooting at one of my old females or something, bro. Like, that shit really, that showed me, like, nigga really wasn't my partner, you feel me? When I look back on it after that, like, Bro really had like some little jealousy towards me his whole life, you feel me? So. What's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done while being drunk? Man, I can't even remember. I, was, I guess I was that drunk. So shit, I do drink though. For sure, I be off the liquor. I'm really a tequila type of dude, you feel me? I like tequila, for real. By 15 to 17, 18, we was on Hennessy like crazy, you feel me? But. I kind of grew out of it. It started making me sleepy. I guess I drank so much of it. My go-to bottle is Don Julio. Uh, the 1942 bottle. You feel me? It's, it's cool when you popping your shit in the club. You know what I'm saying? You spend a thousand dollars on that bottle in the club. But I just settled for the Don Julio uh, Reposado, the, uh, the the square bottle and shit. You feel me? It's gonna get you loose. It's gonna get her loose, and y'all gonna get to doing what y'all do. You feel me? Real for real. What's the most embarrassing thing your partner could do? Throw up on me in public. You know what I'm saying? Like drinking and shit. And she just throw up on me. Like, yeah, it happened to me. I ain't gonna lie. One time I got threw up on. It was on white forces too, so it looked bad. Like it was on my white shoes and that shit. We canceled the whole day. I don't want no coochie or nothing no more. Just, you done threw up on me, bro? Like, come on, bro. I don't even want it no more. <laughs> What's your biggest ick? My biggest ick is gossip. I ain't gonna lie, like, what is we sitting around talking about somebody else for? It's for the week, like gossip, that's straight for the week. What are you the most insecure about? Um, shit. 
Do I look insecure at all, baby? Shit, I ain't insecure about it. Damn, my pinky toe look good, baby. For real. What up? This Orin King. I'm in here with Trashy. If it ain't trash, it's trash.